Good afternoon, everybody. I want to talk to you this afternoon about autism spectrum difference. And I'm going to use the term difference because I believe it showcases the neurodiverse society that we have today, not the word disorder. So what is ASD? ASD is a neurological, it's neurological in origin, it's typically seen in children before the age of three. It is described as a dyad of impairments where individuals present with challenges in the areas of social communication and social interaction, as well as restrictive and repetitive behavior. It is a, a spectrum of difficulty, and by that we mean that every individual is very different in the profile they present. On the perimeter of the frame, you will see my 65 stick figures. These represent the prevalence of autism in our society today, which is 1 in 65. You will also see the ratio of 4 to 1, which is the prevalence of boys to girls. Now, this has seen seismic change in the last 20 years. In the, year, in the early 1990s, the prevalence of autism was 1 in 10,000. So what has this meant for our schools? This has meant huge changes in our inclusive practice and how we do business on the ground. It has meant a change in our pedagogical approaches and on our curricula, on the circulars that are guiding how we teach in our schools. It has generated huge societal discourse. However, this is not always positive. On the screen, you will see snapshots from um, newspaper articles. I'm sorry, the Limerick Leader is not in it. Um, since This is just since January, and there's a common theme coming through, and the theme is criticism of our teachers. In spite of all the changes, we are not meeting the challenges of children with autism in our mainstream classrooms. This is where my research comes in. I believe that through gathering evidence-based practices of what actually works on the ground for teachers teaching our children with autism by generating guidelines of practical use and implementing a series of CPD sessions based more on the attributes of the business model of coaching. I, as a practitioner of 14 years working with children with autism, can support teachers on the ground on a very individualized basis. Because when you have met one child with autism, you've met one child with autism. And it's the same for the teachers we teach. I believe that through supporting teachers on the ground with this expertise and this evidence-based practice, that we can make huge changes and put an end to those snapshots from the media that we have seen. Gurv Mila Mahagwif Kaler.